Uh, how's our day going? Our day has officially just started. We need to do the viewer submitted build. This is Fuzzy's build, courtesy of Velocity. Hemorrhage. Plus Ice Bow. With Sinu Slicer. And Tesla. Wow, <laughs> this is kind of strong. If I were to run Acrobatic with Hemorrhage, it would probably be Kunai. Alchemic Carbine, which is also really strong. But we've seen Carbine in the backpack before. We're gonna try the Javelin in the backpack. I don't think it's like super necessary. I, it might even be overkill as a matter of fact. Uh, but I would be interested in seeing how that looks. Interesting that I still have skins to get. Let's take a look at this. Crab again? What could the crab possibly have? Is malaise a thing at all BCs? It shouldn't be. I mean... What we expect is that it shouldn't be. It was posted as a bug by our very own Carrot and anyone else who was able to post that, which is awesome. Is that a magic missile? No, it's a blow dart. You know, I don't mind trying blow dart in the backpack. I had some thoughts if that works or not. Like, it could be a free crit if the monsters turn around. Yeah, Toxic Cloud, too. Uh, yo, V, going to bed 3 a.m. where you live. Have a great stream. Thank you, Spite. Happy you're able to stop by. If you find any legendaries, feel free to take them, too. Got it. Confirm. Is this new update out? It's in beta on PC. Um, so not technically out, but about as close as it gets. I'm thinking I'm gonna go conjunct through toxic. That skin is fire, the one I'm using right now. Yeah, this is, uh... Is there a Bleach character that re wears red? It's all black, white... And that's it, right? Hemorrhage not green anymore? Yeah, it's kind of a big sad, but... I can kind of see the reasoning. Maybe a little too easy for a green weapon. A little too powerful. Same thing with um, how they treated the bows. A lot of the bows got their green scaling removed. Where the idea is, is that this is way too safe <laughs> for survival. Like, you all will never die if you take this thing. Like, we need you all to actually interact with the monsters in some way. Any Bleach fans? There are some, I know for a fact. They may not be on tonight. But typically, when I ask about Bleach, somebody knows the answer. Alright, we did disinfect the map. I just feel like I don't have the full reveal. But that's fine. We'll be okay. Uh, you're watching live- Oh, crap. I was reading chat, thinking I could get that at the same time.
live action movie a few days ago. Nice. I've never seen a, a live action adaptation of an anime. Not a single one. All right, so we will try acro acrobat acrobat pack. Wow, that's that is definitely a name. Armadillo pack. That one's easier. Porky pack. Acrobaty pack. Gotta like devote that to memory. Acrobaty pack. Three AM now. Think it's time to go to sleep. Have a good night. You too, Gravity. Ooh. So the blow dart doesn't come out until like you do the full animation of the hemorrhage. I don't know how I feel about that. I get it because you don't want the monster to react to you no, before no, your no. missile even damage? comes out. We're dead. But like, I won't crit if that's the case with the blow dart. Wait, what? Oh, I know what I did. I was trying to sell this thing. Uh, Vinny. Following the channel, welcome. Get the money. I love how stuff is just dying and I can't even see it. I also love that I'm getting hit too. Uh, what do you think is the best melee weapon to put in the backpack? I think it depends on the build. I think oil sword's pretty good right now. And of course, that depends on the build. I think Spartan Sandal could be really good if you need that as a defensive option. Flawless also works. Flawless gives you like a free crit. Sadist Stiletto could also be a thing. You're right. And Spike Boot. Torch and Backpack. Yeah, I think there's a lot of options. But when it comes to best, I almost say it's just a matter of if you want some sort of defensive thing. Or if you just want a free crit every now and then. Oh no, ammo! I forgot I have another button I could press when ammo becomes an issue. I also have to remember to use this ice bow. So like that Inquisitor, if I just froze it, would have been fine. This stuff is really fighting me. As opposed to not fighting me. Oh yeah, um, Blood Sword is another option. And that might be, like... A way to not have to run... Open Wounds? I feel like maybe not, like that might be kinda reaching. I'm actually gonna upgrade here. There's the javelin.
In your opinion, backpack is made to set up the main weapon and skills. Yeah, I agree. But like I said, if you want to just see like damage numbers, like maximum deeps, you can easily do something like uh, spike boot or flawless. I was about to say, how did I aggro that? Alright, now I feel like we're in the zone. Nothing will be Alchemic Carbine in the backpack. Well, let's see if we can change your mind, Day... Daydream. I almost called you Day Zuma. Because it's like the exact same number of digits. Characters. Um, after we find the portal... I'm gonna introduce you to Javelin. Is Bamboo working? It is, but because it doesn't come out until the axe is thrown, as you can see... Chances are the monster already knows I'm there, so we lose the uh, potential attack of opportunity. Do you still die with Curse Sword? Uh, no, actually. I got hit just a few minutes ago with Curse Sword, and I didn't die. Yeah. While we were trying to speed run, I had Curse Sword in the backpack. And 1000%, I got hit. All right, so we have the jab. Javelin does not teleport you. And it doesn't have ammo. So every single... Well, not every single attack, because they nerfed it. It's only on three second cooldown now. You get a javelin on, like, every other attack. Does Seismic Strike Rook enemies? I don't think so. I actually posted a, uh, build. Not build, really. It's more like a weapon encyclopedia for the backpack. And in there, it says that... That weapon does not snare. That was close. Trying to get these 60 kills. I need two. Please, game. You can't do this to us. It's not just me, game. It's everybody in chat, too. You can't disappoint all whatever people that are in here. Hemorrhage against Slay. I'm not quite sure what that one might be. Oh, wait. If you're too far, the Javelin actually pushes it out of range. <laughs> Perhaps that's not quite what we need. Hemorrhage against Slammers is a nightmare. Yeah, because they can't be stunned. And I guess that's what the, um... The Javelin should be doing to fix that issue. I just didn't think they would get knocked back that far. Before the Hemorrhage even hits it. Uh, that backpack vid was good YouTube vid. Thank you, Duke, sir. Poisons the enemy. That should be fine. 
And unfortunately, I can't actually get that outfit because it's locked away. I have to play 4 BC if I want to unlock it. This is the new ability that they added, Ranger's Gear. Your next range attack after using a skill deals bonus damage. Um, but with turrets, I feel like that's not all that great. So we'll just take support for now. <laughs> Where was I in the video? I contemplated doing some kind of commentary, but it's not necessary. It's just the encyclopedia. If people want to like know more, then they can look for me, I suppose. All right. Gonna be a lot of ice arrows being shot. That's dangerous. All right, trying to play smart. <laughs> I went to grab the javelin as if that matters. Hello. Oh my god, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> what do you think about the javelin? Do you kind of see what the concept is now? And it hits everything. Like, Javelin pierces automatically, so there's no monster that can, like, ignore. Oh. Spoke too soon. Alright, we'll do Stream Raiders as soon as we clear this. I think the three second cooldown is pretty balanced. Like, part of me wishes that it's scaled somehow. Like, at 30 tactics, it's not that long. But I can understand that at 30 tactics, it's still, like, giga busted. So it probably needs something to nerf it. I don't know, I personally think that the Javelin is pretty decent. Carbine's good though, I'm not gonna say Carbine is like, bad. You just get whatever you need at the time, or whatever the game gives you. Because of course, you won't always be on custom mode. Or maybe you will, because that's fine too. Okay, um... These Inquisitors have to die. Oh, that's so good. I have no idea what's going on in these mobs, by the way. If anyone remotely understands what you're looking at, shoutouts to you. Are uh, you afraid to use tactics at high BC for whatever reason? No, I get it. But once you start to understand like the builds that are giga busted, like what it really takes to get through and meltate monsters, I think that's when it gets a little easier.
mutation choice is sometimes a big deal. Like, to make sure you don't die. But I think it's really about the build itself. Like, you need to be able to kill monsters with that, like, burst high DPS tactics fantasy. It's like, why play tactics if you're doing no better than, uh, survival or brutality damage? That isn't to say that glass cannon's the only way to play. Um, but there's definitely some builds that work without double damage. It was your attempt at a more unique hemorrhage build. Since it's your favorite weapon, that's good to hear. I'm not gonna get it. It's gonna take all my money if I try. I can already tell. What's actually nice is I don't have to run Instincto here. I can luckily just run support and call it a day. I do actually need a new hemorrhage. The one I have right now, it's okay, but it could be better. Of course, if you haven't seen hemorrhage before, it's a weapon that drops in 5 BC. It's actually the last blueprint I got before they added more content to the game. It took me like... Th That's transforming. <laughs> I think that's super cool. Apparently, I might need ammo. Oh, it tanked it. All right, you know what? Everything can stay <laughs> where it is. It ain't that serious. Hello. Is it in Astrolab? Yes, it is. That's why it took me so long to get it. We're yeeting monsters now. Before the stream, I was actually looking at uh, Fall Guys new season. Retromation and the rest of the uh, the squad over there were playing custom lobbies, which is a new thing that just got added. It's still in testing, though. I think only the select few have it. And it's like, if I were to ever do um, community night, I know we used to talk... Ooh, I got bit, I think. We used to talk a lot about community night's risk of rain. Uh, but unfortunately, I've been like really locked into the main stuff right now. But private lobby fall guys actually sounds hilarious. In before dead game. How to get hemorrhage, step into the Astro Lab, survive. Exactly. And I was surviving. It just, I never saw the blueprint drop for months. Do we got a get good scenario? Oh, we do. All right, here we go. We got to do the chant. Everybody get ready. We need to put get good in order to actually win. If you don't put in get good 666 times into chat, you lose automatically. All right. 
Oh, and we get the reward. It's transforming. I should have let it transform. Crap. Like, imagine if that was bugged somehow. And now we're never gonna know. I love how that dodges. My javelin. It's like it knows. The blessed run right here. With the viewer submission. I was about to say, you can use your head on scrolls, right? They didn't just cheat me out of that, I'm pretty sure. So this is the new malaise. They did do some minor nerfs, but in all honesty, this still feels relatively impactful. And that's like the key word here. You want to feel the impact of the mayonnaise. The fact that we've been playing this game, going through biomes, not even getting anywhere near 10 malaise on the old version means that malaise doesn't really exist but now even if you're like a god gamer or something like that you will always see malaise in your game and i think that's the ultimate goal nice try I still don't have 60 kills, I just realized. Where am I getting this damage from? And I haven't disinfected the map either. Also, now that I think about it, one of the things that was an issue was the fact that the bosses didn't always heal your malaise. So I wonder if that's been fixed. Part of me thought that it was kind of interesting that you'll only get the, uh, the disinfection flaming trail. It's kind of hard for me to get fire. Crap. I still haven't disinfected this map. It's kind of interesting. Um, are you animation canceling the backpack shot by using the axe after? There's never an animation for the backpack item. It just comes out as soon as the bullet of your regular weapon comes out. So when I had blow dart, the blow dart, wow, actually wasn't activating until you saw the axe. Wait, have I not disinfected this place yet? Full reveal. Oh, there's a crap ton of monsters. Mm-hmm. Ten malays incoming. That was transforming. It's not safe. What happens at 10 malays now? The monsters get much more aggressive. They teleport to you more quickly. And I think the damage is supposed to increase. Damage taken, that is.
Um, I think it was Saturday. Saturday, I actually went AFK on one of the maps. Chat was actually begging me to come back and pause the game. And even then, I didn't get to 10. I'm sure it was close. But I think we just eked it out. I do not want to know how close I was to 60. <laughs> Toxic Cloud again. Get to 7? I don't think I'm going to have a choice. Oh, I got to 7 while AFK. Got it. I thought you were saying, let's get to 7 right now for testing purposes. Supposedly, the movement speed of the monsters is higher, too. So you're going to see bats flying at, like, super speed. Oh, fruit? Thank you, Shadow. I've been needing some uh, vitamin C. I can kind of tell. Please. How is this not over? Of course, I could have just left. Um, if you look at the map, there's nothing left but a shop. So right now, we're just doing this off principle. My god, that is not what I thought it was going to do. No big deal. We have food on the map. It is... I think it will transform once we get to it. Moras got pretty nuts. Yeah, I can't imagine that place. At 10 malaise. That has to be awful. Alright. I have to get a new axe. Right here, you don't have to worry about speed running. You don't have to worry about speed running in general. But as soon as you disinfect the map, everything goes on a uh, standstill. You can kind of just look at whatever you want. Come on. You know you want to give me something fun. Crit. Slow all. Wait, it's actually weaker than the 40%. Really? Okay. There's the bleed thaw. So we'll at least take that. I know there is another hemorrhage over there. But like... Getting to it looks weird. So I'm gonna just leave. It gets weaker as you re-roll. You mean the shops get weaker? I think the content remains the same. Just the price goes up. New saves are fun until you get to 2 BC? Oh no. I wonder how long until my... Disengage is up. Figures. I should have froze it. Nice. Oh, I like pinned it against the wall. 
gonna try to play it safe. Just play off my turrets. Like, you all will usually see me try to make, like, cool plays, but it's fine. Yeah, the freeze is actually super useful. Wow. Rip no hit. That thing bounced up instantly. Dash? Oh, nice dodge. There we go. Uh, do I see Hemorrhage, Ice Bow, Javelin? Looks kind of good. Got the malaise clear also. My health's a little low, but we'll be fine. Famous last words. Sure. Eh, I'll hold off. Alright, so I know what it looks like. My health is a little low. Might be a little dangerous. But I actually think we're in an okay spot. We just gotta be careful of the alien. That's like the number one issue right now. Maybe golems. I'm hurt. Kinda wanna get Gastro. Over disengage. Support. Acrobat attack. You just got the Philosopher's Stone? You gotta go get a lottery ticket too. Don't just, like, lose that luck of the night. Get a lottery ticket. Uh, go buy some gotcha packs for Genshin Impact. Maybe even send out that note you're always planning. To a loved one. Hmm. Definitely have to freeze those. Yo, thank you, Poggers. Oh my goodness, that thing got destroyed. If I see infected food, I think we're taking it. Elite? Is that real elite? Yes, it is. Wow. It's almost like I forgot what real elites look like. First zero BC clear thanks to Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I wouldn't mind one of those right now. Some big bucks. Little investment money, little side money. Please, where's the food? My kingdom for some cherries. Locally grown, farm fresh, no antibiotics. I wish I had the curse right now. All these bats? 
That's an alien. Interesting. You can fight that right here, I think. Okay. Burn the ground you dodge. It's kind of cool. What monster drops the green backpack mutation? Does anybody remember? It was the, um... Ramus. The thorny. That's what dropped it. Uh, okay. That scared me a little bit. Yeah, stay right there for a second. This thing better not kill me. <laughs> I was about to say, if that is how I die... I'm not even gonna be sad. I don't know what feelings I'll have, but it's not sadness. I don't know what other feelings there are at that point. So freaking hurt right now. Do they release all the information about the drops? They usually don't. I think the only time they talked about what drops what was um Rise the Giant. Where they added and changed around some of the mutations. But I think right now, you have to find out. And we've already seen it, because we went through that stuff today. Um, so if you are looking for it yourself, feel free to just ask. Hopefully we can help you out. Yeah, trying to take it nice and easy. It ain't that serious. We know how to kill these monsters. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you for that hydration, Lang. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I already got my 60, so it's fine. We really need to see food, though. Like, I'm not 100% sure what's happening with the food situation. The beta doesn't give you all your stuff you unlocked in alpha. No, it does not. You have to actually... Because the alpha had everything unlocked. So you actually have to go back through the game. And get all the stuff again. The real way. The natural way. The turret tanked it. That was dangerous. I thought I would be okay going to a uh, sanctuary because I have the ice for golems. But when you don't pierce with the ice bow, whoever tanks the hit for the golem could potentially kill your run. Otherwise, the golems with hemorrhage is not a big deal.
Looks like this game gets deep. Yeah, we're doing some next level gameplay right now. But even though we are, we are never opposed to helping out our fellow viewer, fellow chatter. We're just here to help everybody and get people pogged up to play the game themselves. Just made it past first boss and thought it got interesting. Yeah, and are you on um mobile? Crazy? You're on PC, cool. Yeah, so PC just had a patch today for the beta public beta um i don't know if you'll notice a lot of the changes uh, but just like if that's something you want to think about oh wow this is where you need the pierce <laughs> i'm telling you all these aliens are actually super scary There we go. That's how it should be. 594 cells? Yeah. So, I don't need cells anymore. Um, even though they just had a patch, they just introduced some new stuff. We don't have all of it unlocked. I'm still missing some of the skins that they released today, basically. But we're at the point where we do not need actual, uh, weapons. We have all of them, as of today. A hemorrhage that stuns the victim. That's fun. Alright. Finally got some Lysol out here. Took us way too long to disinfect this map. But we only have two malaise, so that's not too bad. Um, I might even be able to do Sepulcher. Weird that I didn't really get food. A news of the community just checking out some streamers. Trying to connect and stuff. Yeah, welcome, Crazy. For sure. We're lucky that we have um, some really good groups of people who like the game this much to watch us from YouTube for the most part. But even the people who aren't here from YouTube are also much appreciated. All right. We're gonna go Sepulcher. I really wish I had gotten food, but it'll be okay. Time check. We will probably make this the uh, only run we do tonight. Slightly better. Ever so slightly better. Um, and Wednesday, as you all know, or may not know, uh, my normal schedule, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Until about like 10, 30, 11. Um, but we have been streaming on Saturdays this month. So I will very likely be on this coming Saturday. Probably around 1 p.m. That's kind of what we've been doing. Last few Saturdays. Oh, that's slow. It's really scary. All right. Um, we gotta figure out what we're doing on this map. So that's like nothing down there. So I think you don't go down there. That's transforming. All right, first curse. Magic missiles is good even without the times two damage. Try experimenting with heavy turret and support tranquilo. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying that. That sounds like fun. 
of course we're doing viewer submissions carrot so if someone submitted a viewer build that has magic missile in it i would definitely not mind playing it what's my least favorite monster probably the birds right now i've been really having issues with birds lately I gotta clear this before we do the curse. Super unsafe. All right, you all are about to see that uh, high level Malays in a hot second. Where's that door? The door's behind me. Did the exact same thing. The only difference is, is that one has biters. And maybe we don't want to see the biters. It's probably fine. The scary part is if you aggro because of the biters. But we're not that worried about it. Famous last words, of course. Alright, I saw some bats. Playing very safe. We don't want to see anything happen. There we go. Alright, now we can play dumb. Famous last words. Oh my god. I gotta stop talking. Drinking in the face of the Inquisitor? Couldn't drink fast enough? Dying in Sepulchre? Saying that I would play dumb. That's, that's probably the real kicker. And that's where you just spam Ice Bow. Like, for me to walk into the monsters and, like, throw random axes out, that's not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> if, if there's anything that I can have you all do, don't do that. You play correctly all the time, every time. Which is, you, you use the ice bow. Wow, that was, I think, our first, like, hard failure of a viewer submission that one was it was a good build uh we're still gonna do the rating zero out of ten if somehow that build was actually not good and that's why i died or 10 out of 10 where it's like v if you opened your eyes that build would have taken you all the way to the end 